Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to generate translation directly from the Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to active different languages in Odoo, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the WebLens channel. Under the WebLens, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development. And here, all the playlist available with different topic wise with the real task cases. In case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Plus source code also available in the GitHub. Make sure you can follow that Git repository. And we have a different social media pages. Make sure you can follow those pages to get the latest notification. And yes, if you want to support this channel using many ways, buy me coffee, PayPal or using this join button. All right, so let's back to our main topic like how you can translate one language to another language all right directly from the Odoo without creating any files or without any import or export features all right if you remember last session we already activated two other languages the first one is the arabic another is the hindi language right so let's go to here in the cells let me duplicate this tab now uh, let me also duplicate this tab now let's say I will try to change the Arabic right and click to the save button so now you can see here everything changed in the Arabic language right including this form labels let's say the content the menu name action name button names and everything right almost all the data it's already changed into the Arabic now let's change to the hindi language going to preferences and going to click to this hindi language right now you can see almost the data is not converted into the uh, hindi language correct so that's the reason i just activated the one language is fully translated into the arabic and another language the hindi language while you translate into hindi the Odo interface completely not translated. Why? Because the translation terms is missing. So here I will give you the simplest way to translate one language to another language, not for the cells, but for the student profile. Because we are working in this part always, right? So we will not break our flows. So I give you the example from our module only, the, our custom modules only, all right? So here, the first thing is we have to go to in the settings, all right? In, in the settings, if you don't know this translation and technical things, don't worry, you can just active the developer mode using click to this button, all right? After that, you can see these menus, the translation menu especially. After that, we are working in this translated terms. If you click here, and here, I will try to, uh, like, let's say, search our module name so you can see our module name is missing here right so for that like what i will do is so first the first thing is i will click to this generate missing terms click to hindi update and auto automatically checks the missing terminologies and it will generate the entries here in this model ir dot translation models and if i will refresh you can see at least 153 records already generated by the odoo right so you can see here uh, let's say 153 i will visible the all and you can see the english names is available here right we have to translate into the hindi all right so now the first thing is uh, let me close this interface and we will focus here in the tree view i mean in the list view so simple i will try to first change the label names here this label names right so first thing is the id right so i will try to open this google translation and i will try to add id so this is the pahachan this is the translated word in hindi and we are trying to use here 
like I will try to find out the ID translation and simple we have to paste here in the second feed which is this translation values all right and after that you can click to save button or click to anywhere it will automatically save and then after if you move to here and refresh the screen you can see it will automatically change id to pahchan in hindi language okay now let's say created on created on so this uh, this is called in hindi is par banaya so let's say created on after that created by so you can see created by okay i will click to save and i will try to refresh the button you can see this three is changed now let's say the name total fee school name and the stat right so let's say name copy name so here you can see if i will find out the in the in this browser you can see there are a lot of names available right like 50 matches record but we have to focus only the exact name keyword here so you can see we found this one and simple i will try to add na i mean in the in the terminology it's a nam and you can find out here also okay it's good after that let's say total fees copy i will find out total fees all right so we found only one that's good after that let's say school name right school name so i will try to copy this one with the like now all right and i will find out school name all right so here it's a one record found that's good and the stat so in a stat we can say in a hindi version we have a lot of translation but we will see this thiti we will copy this one and we will try to paste here all right so we found a two matching so i will try to translate here so this is basically english language and this is the hindi language and now i will try to refresh the screen now you can see it's look like we translated english to hindi right and yeah don't worry let's say if i will go to this person i mean in the preferences right and if i will try to change my language to english so you can see here it's back to the english translation so like this way it's working the translation part wait there is a lot of things you have to remember not only this one copy paste all right here let's say now let's say here in this screen you can see we also use the python code right fields view get if you remember in the fields view get method i already explained like how you can also customize this form view or any views using this fields view get method so here we extended the form view or modified the form view right that time we use this translation in the python code now if i will copy this code and if i will try to find out here it won't be searchable here if you remember right like this so let's say uh, if you want to generate such terminologies right from the python code also let's say you want to also i uh, have a warning messages and you want to also translate into different languages like this way so let me show you another way might be you will confuse or oh, let's say this is the first time you visited the weblens channel don't worry let me explain one more time so 
school student this is the module name in the models in the models you can see this is school dot student model and you can see fields view get right and here simple i will try to copy this label name and the same label name you can see here right the same label name so first thing is i will create here this english name i will translate into the hindi let's say hindi right here and let's say here i will try to add in a hindi language after that like what is the module name right so module name should be always this one copy paste and this is generated from the code and the status should be translated all right and here this translated fields right we have to provide the simple this name like add-ons school underscore student models models.py right why because here this code is available in this file now let's say if i will refresh the screen you see that this translation is not uh, let's say automatically translated into the another language why because if you see here i just use the simple string simple string without translation right so how odoo will support automatically like we have to also translate this simple string so for that you have to import like from odoo import and we have to use this underscore all right so this underscore also translate simple string to the specific language all right so here again i will go to here what i will do is like i will use underscore and in a bracket i will pass here the message whatsoever message in any language all right simple i will try to refresh sorry restart the service all right and again i'm going to front end side and refresh the screen now you can see it's automatically changed into the hindi language okay now let's say i want to change the button names right so don't worry let's say i will try to let's say send mail right send mail so you you can find here and try to add here this respective language string all right now let's say you want to translate the database uh, database data you can see here uh, this is database data right not uh, not we added as a static data so those are the static data in the form form you level right but this is something like we just updated into the database so this is called a dynamic data right so for that so let's say i want to change the name so for that like i will go to here the first thing is i will say odoo like respective field let's say this name field i want to translate into different language right based on the current users language preferences so for that i will use here translate equal to true that's it after that you have to restart the service uh, you have to restart the service after that you have to upgrade You have to upgrade this module right and simple go to here now you can see we have like one five four 154 records right once upgradation done after that we have to click to this button generate missing terms especially for the Hindi right now but from your side you have to change uh, you have to select the language you want to translate upgrade 
and it will take uh, some time only. All right, it's finished. Now refresh the screen. You can see here 161 record automatically updated. So you don't need to do anything here. So let's say 161 record and let's say I will try to find, uh, I will try to translate this one to here. Something like this. So you can see here student Nohari Om right and here I will try to paste this name after that you can see sunny student CSV right I will copy this one and simple I will paste here let's say Jet Halal So you can see the jet halal like this way and I will click to the save button all right now I will try to refresh the screen and I'm going to the list view you can see here jet halal sunny chhatra csv vidyarthi nahi hari om I mean it's automatically translated into the in the language all right so like this way you can also try to translate dynamic data like this way all right so don't forget to update to add this attribute translate equal to true otherwise it won't be working all right another thing is so now i will give you the exercise let's say you already have this repository in your local system right if you don't have please visit the github link all right just pull this latest repository don't forget to switch to the 15.0 branch name all right so right now we are working in the version 15 uh, odo community 15th version here you can at least try this student the form view write this this menu name this menu names then after this form name then after this buttons this notebook and the missing translations you can try to at least translate in your language in your respective language not only the hindi hindi just i'm giving you the example all right so and then after directly translate from here and our next session i will try to explain how you can generate a one file right and that compatible file with the odoo and you can add those translation into that file after that you can re-import in this odoo this part i will discuss in our next session and in case you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session